All right guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all good. So it's been a little while since I've done a pedal demo and I figured what a great way to get back into it than to do a pedal that I just received from the guys at VS Audio. If you haven't heard of VS Audio before, they're a Greek pedal company, really nice dudes. They sent me a pedal called the Royal Flush Overdrive, which I did a couple of months back. It's great for stratty bluesy tones. And this pedal they sent today is a new overdrive pedal called the Operation Trinity. So it's, it's quite simple. It's a small single stomp box pedal, as you can see on the GoPro, um, with three controls, volume, tone, and gain. So this is a sort of a classic tube preamp overdrive, uh, apparently using CMOS technology to, to get the kind of tube overdrive that you hear in the pedal. It's got a natural compression to it, a very natural response as well. It's quite transparent. I'm running it into the V40, um, so it's straight up clean signal uh, into the two notes and then recorded using the Universal Audio Apollo 8P. Uh, I'm using my PRS pause guitar so we can do some uh, split coil tones, but as it's a, you know, a sort of a, reasonably high gain pedal, I'm going to use my Relic as well with the bare knuckle in there. The reverb that you're hearing is from my Strymon Big Sky, which is in the loop of the V40, but there's nothing else going in. This is literally just straight up clean tone. Everything's set to 12 o'clock, let's push it in and have a listen. definitely got that classic tube preamp distortion to it. It's quite um, chewy in a good way. Um, the response is nice. It feels quite easy to, you know, get some legato runs in there and the general pick attack and the way it sort of responds um, to the way you play feels really nice. It does feel natural. Um, that's something that I noticed with the Royal Flush. Same with this. It's, it's very, you know, it doesn't sound like a pedal on top of a clean tone. So it's got that real nice compression as well. Um, just going to carry on messing about. the way it sounds it's definitely got a, 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 a chewy distortion to it which I keep coming back to that word because it feels it's not like stupidly articulate at the top end like I know the, the tones on sort of halfway it sounds like they've dialed in the tone pot to act more as a kind of presence as opposed to just straight up treble so it gives you a little bit more of those high-end frequencies some more of that harmonic content so if I play a chord then brighten it so
Yeah, I think it sounds good. It, it feels like when you're using it for high gain with, uh, you know, humbuckers, that it's got that kind of American messer tone to it. Um, but I think as well that, you know, if you back off the gain, um, you could probably get some nicer uh, single coil tones. We've just split the guitar down, so let's have a listen. I mean, it's not, it, it, you know, it can do the single coil thing, but it's definitely, there's way more gain in this than the Royal Flush, for example. It seems to me that it's more for hard rock and it sounds nice and thick as a layer of guitar. Um, or you can then boost it for leads. So it's, yeah, I really like the way it sounds. The graphic's cool. It's a nice small box, well built. Um, they do a great job to VS Audio of that kind of stuff. But my honest opinion so far is that this is a proper thick, uh, rhythm kind of distortion with a nice creamy top end if you want to do some lead. Just throwing on some reverb and delay from our Strymon Big Sky and Timeline and we're just going to do some lead stuff with it now. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my guitar, reset the pedal, this is how it sounds going straight in. It's very dark, uh, this is a high output guitar, humbucker of course, so anyway, let's check it out. Immediately to me, again, this is a rhythm pedal. This is like, you can get your lead uh, sort of saturation from it, but I'm playing those kind of riffs and it's really thick. It lends itself really well to like powerful chord sounds. Like. Interestingly, when I backed off the volume and boosted the gain, it thinned out a bit. I think what's cool about this pedal again is with the volume pushing that at the front, it thickens everything up. As you back it off, it thins everything out a little bit. So let's put that into demonstration. If I put the gain back to 12, start with the volume low. 
Halfway. Much thicker. Three quarters. Yeah, so it loads the front end with quite a lot of body. Whereas if we back the volume back down and we boost the gain to three quarters. So there you go, there's the Operation Trinity. I think it's a great sounding pedal, it's well voiced. For me personally, I'd use this in Dorje for my rhythm tone uh, if I was running a clean amp um, and I wanted that kind of heavy saturated tube sort of overdrive preamp style pedal. I'd say that's a really good option. They're 179.99 euros, um, which you can find if you go to their website. I'll put a link in the description box below. So if you do like the sound of this pedal, then I reckon you should check it out. It is really good for leads if you want a creamy, sort of smoother uh, top end to your lead tones. But where this pedal for me really shines through is the fact that it gives you a thick, saturated uh, rhythm tone that you can use for chugging and riffing. It's just articulate enough so that you can get some tighter riffing in there, but it is a sort of a hard rock sounding pedal. It's got a lot of gain in it, but it is adaptive, it's easy to adjust. And the fact we've run into a really clean amplifier with basically no EQ, it's all flat, it's kind of boring sounding, it's doing all the work and for me it does sound really nice. So hopefully it sounds nice to you guys. Thank you for watching as always. Thanks to VS Audio for sending the pedal. If you like what you hear, check them out in the description box. So please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all very soon.